All right, guys, welcome back to another role commentary by me, your host, Hawken. So this is a role that happened at the Travis Luter Academy in Fort Worth, Texas, a few weeks ago. Uh, it's between me and this very kind and helpful black belt here who I was just drilling with prior to this. Okay, so we start in his guard. I immediately stand, break the grips, try to get my own grips on his pant legs, and then now I'm down here sitting on his hooks. Okay, it looks like he's trying to set up the butterfly sweep, grabbing the belt, and then he underhooks my leg, and now he's going to transition into like the half X guard and just pull me out for sweep. Okay, so I immediately start trying to play collar sleeve guard on the left side with the De La Hiva hook, and then here I thought about trying to bolo him, or I did try to bolo him, but it didn't quite work out. Comes back on top. So I'm still trying to play, now I'm trying to play a little bit of lasso guard just to slow him down. Keep that grip on his pant. He's trying to put the knee through. I'm playing a little bit of knee shield here. Trying to control that left arm. He's trying to grab my head, my collar, so he can start passing. Okay, back in open space. Trying to get grips, trying to prevent him from grabbing my pants. Okay, I was thinking about the butterfly sweep there. I was looking for the underhook, but he stopped that. Okay, still looking for it, but it's too shallow. Don't have enough connection to really try to sweep him. All right, still playing the collar sleeve. He's maintaining good posture. Grip fighting. Oh, I tried to arm drag him there, but he stood up. Okay, tried to just bullfighter past me there a little bit. Now he's putting the pressure. Again, just playing collar sleeve. I'm trying to use my knee on the inside here to break his grip. That's why I keep trying to keep my knee on the inside. My left knee. I'm just trying to stretch him out. Make his life a little bit difficult, but he gets underneath my leg. He's going to use that to pass later, that grip on the inside of my knee. Should not have allowed that. Okay, he comes back over the top, and then there I almost hit him with the same sweep that he hit me with, but again, he kind of stands. I wasn't really too insistent on it, obviously, because this was just a relaxed roll, and he's a black belt in a foreign academy, you know? I'm not trying to go balls to the wall to fuck this guy up. Not that I could have anyway, but... So here we go. Here is where he turns me, or I turn myself. I don't know. I was trying to defend, but I let my let him get too far over on my side. So that was a major mistake. He was able to turn my hips all the way over and pass, as you see. So now I'm turtled. He's going to go ahead and attack. I'm trying to roll through. It's not happening. So I'm thinking about his hands. You can see uh, he's fishing for the the seatbelt. Now here I'm trying to get over his other knee, his left knee, so I can put my back to the mat. He's trying to get the leg out. He turns me to the other side. Now he's going to probably start looking for the bow and arrow. Maybe trying to grab my pant leg. Yeah, there it is. He goes to grab the pant leg. He's got the bow and arrow. I managed to put my back to the ground. Now he's trying to slide over into mount. I believe I maintained quarter guard here. Okay, he's looking to isolate my right arm. Just trying to keep my hands hidden. Trying not to let him pass completely to mount. If he hasn't already, he may have mounted me. Okay, so there he let me get a hold of his sleeve, so that's why I was able to roll him over. And then I go to stand, try to break the grips again, but he maintains this grip on my pant leg and that causes me to trip. So now he's right back up on top. There, I thought about the hook sweep for a second, but again, not enough control. This guy had very good posture. See how he's just, his back is up straight. He's maintaining his distance from me with his weight still down though. So it doesn't give me too much play. And that's the end. All right. Uh, so that was kind of an interesting little role. Uh, 
not sure in the moment what we can really take away from that other than uh, if you're playing collar sleeve the uh, the leg that is supposed to be pressing into their shoulder pressing them back harassing them don't let them get the arm under that leg uh, because that can be bad news for you as you just saw so this is actually a two for one commentary uh, now you're going to get to see me tool this white belt here uh, I figured after you know the black belt <laughs> I deserved an easy roll <laughs> well you know you never quite know although this guy doesn't even know how to tie his belt as I can see in this thing so it's probably not going to be too difficult for me but you never know with these people you know you figure you can think oh yeah let me get that white belt and it's like oh but I'm actually a judo black belt ha 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 you didn't see that coming did you no I did not anyway here we go Okay, so they, this guy wanted to start in guard two. So let's see how it goes. What's the difference in passing a white belt's closed guard versus a black belt? So he looks like he's going for a scissor sweep here. Yep. Okay, just pop over that. And then I'm right around the legs. Okay, sitting on the legs. Underhook. I was kind of almost thinking about the body lock pass. I'm just staying heavy on his hooks, not letting him sit up. Okay, and there I smash the legs down to the other side, but now I'm right back in closed guard, or I could have been right back between his legs. There we go, and then that's just a quick, like, kind of leg drag out of the way because he didn't close the guard. Okay, so I've established side control, looking for the mount. Oh, never mind. I take that back. I was actually looking for the arm triangle choke. Let's see that one more time. Okay, so here's where it starts. Yeah, because he made the mistake of putting his arm past my head right here. So as soon as I felt that, that's your opportunity to transition into the arm triangle. When they put the elbow up high like that, and you can get your head past the elbow. So now that's all she wrote. All right, we restart in the closed guard. The main thing with the closed guard is posture. You need to posture, you need to prevent them from taking strong grips on your collar, around your head. You need to be trying to control their arms, their grips, so that when the moment arrives, when there's an opportune moment like here, you can actually stand up. But I'm not doing a great job of that because he still has that collar grip that's keeping me attached to him. I just thought because he was a white belt and he, you know, did not have a very strong guard game that I would be able to pass uh, regardless. <laughs> um, but no, the ba the only real way to pass closed guard against somebody that genuinely knows what they're doing is to stand up without their control on your collar. Okay, so I've passed again here. Now I'm just thinking about that elbow. Yep, there it is. Oh, now we're gonna look at uh is that Travis Luter or there's this other guy there that looks a lot like him? Okay, there's an armbar escape from this guy. I didn't really see exactly how that whole sequence went down, but it didn't end that well for me, it looks like. Now I'm playing half guard. Oh, I almost took his back there. That was an interesting little sequence. It kind of happened fast. I'm not sure exactly what he did, but... Let's see, mommy, one more time. All right, so I feel the arm lock. Try to roll through. He's trying to pass. I'm trying to keep my knee on the inside. Try to stop him from hugging my head. And then how is this gonna happen? Oh, okay. So we, I pulled the arm across. That would be like an octopus guard scenario, but then...
Okay, that's almost like a, yeah, it would almost be like a freaking octopus card. Let's see that. I'm sorry, this guys, this is, I want to figure out how this actually happened. Okay, break the grip, the arm gets passed across. All right, and then I tried to roll, like sweep him this way. And then he tried to come back on top, but as he did that because his arm was all the way across already. That's what gave me the opportunity to come out and look for his back on the other side. Okay. Interesting little sequence there. Okay, now it's Neon Belly for the win, probably. Am I going to finally get that arm lock? I wanted the arm lock. Looks like not. Should have... Oh. Well, is it gonna happen? No. I was gonna say I should have rolled through, but I guess I tried. Okay. He doesn't want to get arm locked, that's evident. All right, and there it is. Okay. I think that was pretty much the end of the roll. I guess not. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, that's, uh, <laughs> I guess that was the end of that video. Here we're on to the next roll, but. Uh, I think that's probably enough for today. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I hope somebody found this interesting. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.